Welcome back to the Tracy Trendy Show, my lovelies. Welcome one and welcome all. Woo, my goodness. Harry and Auntie's advice. Go in. They go in on each other. My lovelies. This was epic. Epic, epic, epic. Let me backtrack. Harry went on YouTube. He did a interview with Kiki and Kibitz. It was kind of a scattered interview, but the ladies, they did the best they can do. It's Harry, okay? So anyway, Auntie's advice just gave her review and Harry came back with some smack. She gave some smack, but her smack was seven minutes long. Personally, I think Harry should have took the AL and kind of silently went quiet. But no, he just had to say something, okay? But anyway, here he brings all this attention to this killer, 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 killer read that Auntie's advice did. And I'm going to play it right here, my lovely. So why don't you guys listen in and enjoy. Sip the tea, my lovely. Sip it, sip it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm. Sip it and enjoy. Everybody was upset at me for nothing. Y'all should have been upset about the TV show because the TV show took y'all to fuck up. They told y'all to get ready. They told y'all to do this. They told y'all to take that. Then they told y'all I was coming when I never came. So that's you know why you were so angry? That's why you were, you because you, you've been pretty pissed off. Cause that, that's why, right? Yeah, I was upset because yeah. one, one, I was upset why everybody was just coming at me crazy when they could just talk to me. Like, yeah. I'm not the person you need to be talking to aggressively. I handle shit when uh, differently when you talk to me aggressively. But you aggressive. But okay. Don't talk to me aggressively. You should understand who you're talking to. Understand the caliber of person you're dealing with. The caliber of person that you are dealing with is somebody who's been in jail for four years, who held somebody up allegedly, you know, because he was convicted of it. The caliber of person that we talking to will take something from an individual and not give a fuck about them. The caliber of person that we're talking to is somebody who will live up in somebody else's house, be paroled there, not stay there. The caliber of person that we are talking to is someone who will get on line and act a fool, someone who is drinking. And it, okay, that's the caliber of person we're talking to. That's the kind of mother you yell at. When it comes down to a person coming out of prison, watch your fucking mouth. But anyway, no, watch yours. Again, you're disrespecting these women. Rihanna's eyes about to bust up out of her dag on here. Mary said, "Bitch, I'm done." They <laughs> died. They died. So wow, you're a mom like your sister. You guys are really close in age, and your personalities remind me a lot of each other. People said, some people that watched that interview said, we seemed intimidated by your videos. <laughs> I thought that was funny. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. A lot of people are intimidated by me, personally. Why? Person. Why? You look like a bitch. You look like a, 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 a little young boy trying to play thug. You easily influenced by people. You you don't have anything going on. You have no vision, no dream, no goals, no nothing. You just want to give money. And you want to give money by cook or by cook or by any means necessary. That's the caliber of person that we're dealing with. Nobody's intimidated by you, boo. You got a blonde ponytail swinging in the wind. It look like it's 4C hair. Your beard is jacked up on one side. You Ronald McDonald in your beard, and on the other kind of uh, other side, you look like Papa the Sailor Man. Bitch, ain't nobody got time to be intimidated <laughs> by nothing that's going on with you. And then you got the nerve to have your head up and your cotton freaking neck ain't even shaved. The barber set you up. <laughs> okay, my lovelies. She goes in on Harry so much. Okay, so you guys check out her little seven minute read. Uh, but anyway, that's on Auntie's advice. I'm gonna, put you, I'm gonna mention her in the comment section. You guys can read on. But see, Harry must have he caught wind of that. It was seven minutes. 
And he goes on to auntie's advice. And he says, this lady overall dumb ass F, 100% sad clown, gone. You're going to finna miss bingo, bitch, since you like using that B word and your page weak ass F. Y'all go tear her ass up. A hundred percent run. Somebody go get your auntie. I, I don't see anybody running to get the auntie, okay? Because I checked the, the comment section here. I, can't, I checked. And he goes, it'll be the bald-headed hoes, the most bitter, a hundred percent. Harry, that little fried hair on your head will soon be off your head. No time soon, okay? So anyway, I was, and, and that's all the comeback Harry could say. Now, mind you, Auntie's Vice went on seven minutes straight. Seven minutes straight. And that's all he could say. So, when she went hard, I'm going to, I'm going to, yes, she did, Harry. She went hard on you. And she went hard some more. She took that crown and pranced and danced on your grave and then pissed on it some more. She went in for seven minutes. So, how in the heck are you going to be, you're going to rebound from that? How are you going to go back and rebound from that? You know what? You don't. Sometimes you just got to take the L. But now we see all the fucks you give by your response. Okay? We see it. We see she must have hit a sore spot. <laughs> Drink to tea, my love.